So guys, I have come to the conclusion that um, at the moment I am low on players and um, the winter transfer window is approaching and I think I should sign some players because um, I don't know, just to have someone to maybe sell or uh, maybe like include in some deals because uh, uh, I don't know, I just think that we should, uh, I think I should sign some players. Like these who have uh, better overall, I think uh, those were the players who had better overall. And um, these three guys, if they manage to get in the team, uh, I would have more of uh, uh, players to have squad rotation. Also Milan Rennick remains here, uh, who is an incredibly gifted player. And uh, we're gonna see what uh, he develops into. Oh, hopefully Blackman is also going to be a good player. Um, it's the first game of the episode. It is against uh, South End United. It uh, is for the Johnston Spain Trophy, I think. Uh, yep, we are still in the Cups, which is remarkable. And I think it's in this competition that we are yet to concede. So, we got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, it's kind of a reserve squad. Butler starts um, in the center of defense. We have Milanov and Fabiano. Milanov is a little bit tired. That's why I want to have some of my players from the academy. Because I could possibly place them on uh, playing like center back or something like that. But yeah, Tudor, Needs, Conte, Atkinson, Ujevic, uh, Graham, Cousins and uh, Adebayo is up front. And uh, let's see if we could actually nick it off South End United. Come on now. Cousins! Oh! It was a nice shot. A corner, nonetheless. I'll take it with a left footer, which is Conte. Let's see now. Can he possibly swing in a good cross? Oh, that was a nice cross. That was a nice cross. Yeah, could have just gone in. No. No. This is literally, literally, literally their first shot on target and um, they managed to score. Although it was a bad uh, mishap in our defense. And of course, we have. Um, Butler in goal, which makes things worse. Well, the first half finishes. It's not that we played bad, it's uh, that they just score with their best chance, and uh, of course, we don't have that much of a better squad than them at the moment. And um, yeah, the overall, the player says it's uh, meaning, and it shows that you have to have best players, like good players, to play good football. Yes! It's Adebayo and he levels it, but uh, the bad thing is that I made a substitution in which he's going to get off. And uh, Atkinson's going to get off. Because I thought I, I should have win this game because uh, I love playing more matches. I'm not like that guy who's going to, hey, I don't need this cup and I don't need this cup. I'm not like that. I would like to play every tournament and get as far as I could in every possible tournament. No, this is a stupid thing to do. No. No, this is a stupid thing to do. This was a stupid thing to do. And uh, I'm dumb. And I'm gonna pay for it. Because that was surely my mistake. It was a uh, dumb passing the ball out. This time I cleared it. But I cleared it straight into this guy's uh, foot. And uh, he manages to score. Which was easy. Well, uh, it's a loss. And uh, it's a bad loss. Because uh, this was the... Round of 16, and uh, look at those chances. I should have scored more, but for first half, the players just couldn't uh, score. And that's maybe because they have Adebayo, who plays better with uh, someone who can actually make a good pass rather than uh, Cousins. But uh, hey, it's uh, the cup. It, uh, it's bad that I got eliminated, but what can you do? So the players just arrived, and uh, some of them look actually good, like Martin Obita, 59, Burn is. Uh, 58 and um, we have Kadri who is actually ooh, he has good technical attributes and uh, full star weak foot high attacking work rate low defensive work rate uh, he could play left right mid uh, which is good second game of the episode is against uh, Jelenum Jellingham Jellingham Jellenum Jellingham uh, we have Davis in goal uh, Fabiano replaces uh, Milanov who is again on international duty and I can't understand how can he be on international duty when he has club assignments. That's just stupid and EA should fix that. That never happens on Football Manager, that never happens on in real life. 
Except if it's an under 21 player, but he is not under 21. Which means that you basically suck, yay. This is not supposed to happen. Ekrami is also missing, and uh, I think in the future this could be very costly if I have some good players who are on international duty, and if I manage to like, have a nice game, and like, uh, like a very important game, just, it's not right, it's not right. Ah, it's Jordan! That's probably the best chance I had the whole first half. And I managed to miss it like a total douche. It's a douche douche. Uh, it's just that sometimes I uh, hate this game. I simply hate it. It just... Some teams are made to not be beat. I don't know what I can do in the second half to actually score. It's so hard. They tackle me. They are stronger. They are faster. They are more technical than me. And I just that, I don't know what I could possibly do to score. Pretty nice play here from... It's a penalty, man. Stop catching me. They always do that. They always do that with Mick. It's just that he's faster than most of the defenders and they always catch him. But sometimes they does not give the penalty. Now I am uh, probably gonna be able to score. Let's see. Come on, I'm not gonna take it with Bill Will, I think. At least if uh, Biggie is not... Yeah, Biggie is playing. I think I should give it to... Big E. No... Mick has got the best penalty taking. Let's see if we can actually score it with Mick. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, so simple. And uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna concede. I am sure that I'm gonna concede. Uh, don't ask me how I know, I just know. Come on! Well, the game finishes, at least we won it. I don't know how we managed to win this game, but... Hey-ho, I don't really fucking care. It's a win. We are away against... Um, Plymouth Argyle, it's uh, one of the f most favorite teams I have in uh, the game. Uh, Milanov returns and Ekrami returns, the lineup is uh, the same ex uh, except those two. Um, the ex for From the last game, the lineup is the same from the last game except those two. Milanov and Ekrami return and uh, hopefully three points will return also. Come on now, Big A. You have it now. You have it now. Pozo. It's a beautiful goal. No, hug, hug. Come on, hug. Yeah. That's right. It's a nice cross from Big A. It's uh, maybe the... F no, it's not the first shot we had on target, but... I don't really care. Because uh, it's a goal. And I just have to keep a clean sheet now. And now it's Big A again. Oh, isn't he a vital part in our team? Isn't he a vital part in our team? And the Big A Pozo combination works again. 2 0 right before half time. A nice attack and um, a nice counter attack, let's say it. Nice holding of the ball by Mick, who freed the space for Big A. And uh, unselfishly, Big A passes it to Pozo. The first half finishes. Uh, almost uh, after we scored the goal, and uh, we did have a better half, I think. We did uh, play better, but two shots, two on target, two goals. Uh, so yeah, it was my first shot on target, that first goal. But we're playing actually very good. That's what I would like to see from my team. Two shots, two goals, and that's it. Come on now. We have to get there first. You are faster. You are faster, Alfie. Oh, it's beautiful! This is beautiful! I mean, it always happens in my last matches. Like, I played the best in the last match of the episode. If you can record the last two episodes, I recorded a 4 nil win, or 4-1, I don't remember, a 5-1 win, and now I am on road to doing another one. With uh, 11 goals from Mick. In the last episode, he's been on fire, literally. Mick! It's another one. It's four. And it's his second goal. And uh, it was a nice cross from Graham. I think I'm actually gonna do this um, short corners and then cross because uh, it's more, it's better. And uh, yet again we go for a hat trick for Mick. Well, 
it sucks that Mick uh, didn't get his hat trick, but a brace is good. Six shots on target, four goals. A brilliant performance by Mick. I think he got no. It's actually two goals by him, two by Paul. So I think it's Biggie who should have got like the um the man of the match. But yeah, and it also yeah he's close to um Mick's performance. So this is how the uh, league table looks. We are second. We are kind of. Uh, shortening the distance between us and Sheffield, but it's not that much because, um, yeah, it's not that much. Wait, how do we? Oh, yeah, we scored seven more, and we will, or yeah, it's like that. Um, five points is not that much. If we manage to beat them in the direct game, uh, we could possibly go. And win the division, but I am satisfied with automatic promotion because uh, the moment we are doing well, not so well to be first, uh, to be honest. So that's maybe why we aren't in the first place. But we are in the second uh, automatic promotion place, which means uh, we are doing better than uh, uh, I expected. I actually expected us to be like uh, fourth or fifth and maybe come through the playoffs. But if we manage to get uh, in championship without playing playoffs, that will be so much better. Because um, it's uh, those matches are difficult and you never know what's going to happen. Because, uh, yeah, but that's for the episode today. If you guys did like, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.